Friends, we've been learning over and over again that we need to praise the Lord, and we've come to the end of the Psalter, now Psalm 150, and it starts with that message, praise the Lord. And then it goes on to say, praise God in his sanctuary. But what sanctuary are we talking about? Are we talking about in Jerusalem, on top of Mount Zion? That could be, certainly that would make sense. Praise him in his sanctuary. It's the songbook of Israel. And yet we can still sing it. And we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. We gather together in covenant assembly. We worship God. We need to praise him there. And one day we're going to be in heaven's heights. And, and that's the ultimate Jerusalem above, the sanctuary of God. Well, I think that's the ultimate meaning here. Because it, it then goes on to say, praise him in his mighty heavens. Right. So I think we're headed in the right direction if we think about the end game here in this end psalm. Now, why should we praise him? Well, first we're told, praise him for his mighty deeds. Oh, exactly. Think about his deeds of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then how about his works of providence? Yeah, because he's over all. He's governing all his creatures, all their actions. We need to praise him for this wonderful work of wisdom and power that God does is providence. And then what about this special act of providence that we call redemption, where God sent forth his son to live fully according to the law so that he might die for us who have violated God's law. He paid the price even with his own blood and bought us once again to be his. That's redemption. Shouldn't we praise him for that great work of redemption, absolutely we should. And so we praise him for his mighty deeds, but also then praise him according to his excellent greatness. And that has to do not with his deeds so much as his being. Who is this God? Well, we're told that he's infinite, eternal, and unchangeable in his being, wisdom, power, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. So you can think about each of these things and praise the Lord. For instance, his holiness, he's set apart from everything else. There's the creator-creature distinction. He's infinite in his holiness. He's eternal in his holiness. He's unchangeable in his holiness. That's true of the Father. It's true of the Son, Jesus Christ. It's true of the Holy Spirit, holy, holy, holy is God. You can think of every attribute and you could praise him for his excellent greatness. And then how should we praise him? What should we use to praise him? Praise him with, with what? With trumpet sound. Think of all the brass instruments that could be used. How about the stringed instruments? Praise him with lute and harp. What about percussion? Praise him with tambourine. What about our bodies? Should we move and praise God? Yes, praise him with the dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Right? You think about the instruments and then think about our bodies, our minds, to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, with all our everything, we should praise the Lord according to his word. Let his word direct us in every way so that we find the New Testament way of worshiping him according to the scriptures that we have. But we also are straining forward towards the ultimate worship in heaven. And so it, it says this, it says, let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I'm thinking right now, here we are in this earth, right? And we have uh, all the various creatures that God has made all to, to do exactly what he created them to do. But especially here we are as worshipers of God in a very special way, created in his image, male and female, dominion over the creatures, we should praise the Lord. That's our destiny. And you see, we never could have access to him 
if it were not for the fact that God has made a way for us through the perfect mediator, the perfect sacrifice, our prophet, priest, and king, Jesus, our Redeemer. So we should praise the Lord. See, that's our destiny. The new heavens and the new earth. It's, a, it's going to be a world where everyone is entirely moved by the Spirit to praise the Lord. Shouldn't we start now? Shouldn't we praise the Lord? Father, thank you for all that you've done for us. We know your, your plan is so good. You've executed it with absolute perfection. It's our joy to worship you now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings, friends.